welcome back to another review. So we're doing another one of the EOS Shea Better hand creams today. And this is the pomegranate raspberry one. Uh, I've used up two of these so far. Not in this scent. I used up the pink citrus and whatever the lavender one was. So that leaves, I think, just the eucalyptus one after this. But um, anyway, these retail for $3.50 a pop right now. I want to say they cost more than that when they first came out, so I paid more for them, but that's okay. I'm glad to see that they did drop the price to a more reasonable price point. These are two and a half fluid ounces, which for a tube this size is not that bad. So our hand cream with instantly moisturizing shea oil and lasting protection shea butter quickly absorbs for 24 hour hydration that lasts through hand washing. Bright and juicy. Notes of sweet pomegranate, tart raspberries, and lotus blossom. Mmm. So 24-hour hydration, paraben and phthalate-free, and not tested on animals. The ingredients are water, stearic acid, glycerin, glycerol stearate, SE, cetyl alcohol, caprylic slash capric triglyceride, fragrance, cocoa seed butter, uh, cocoa glycerides, shea butter, Dimethicone, hydrogenated didesine, um, VP slash hexadecene copolymer, shea oil, avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, soybean oil, um, sclerocaria berea seed oil, I don't know what the fuck that is, hydrogenated vegetable oil, punica granata extract, raspberry leaf extract, Aloe leaf juice, tocopherol acetate, dicaprolyl carbonate, octodiesel isosterate, glycerol stearate, PEG 100 stearate, caprolyl glycol phenoxyethanol. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Phenoxyethanol, magnesium alumina silicate, carbomer, uh, sodium hydroxide, hexylene glycol, disodium EDTA, BHT, citric acid, potassium sorbate. Sodium benzoate, titanium dioxide, Cl77891, hexyl cinnamol, linalool, butyl phenyl, uh, methylpropionol, limonene, citra, citronolol, hydroxy citronolol, and alpha isomethyl ionone citrol. So, they claim natural, but is it really that natural? I could believe it's like mostly natural, but there's also a lot of other shit. So anyway, one patching thing I've noticed with the other two that I've used so far. This crimp part of the tube right here likes to separate. So proceed with caution. I've not had one completely split to where it opens, but it's come very close, especially on that lavender one. So we're going to go ahead and comes out looking like that. Ooh, okay. Actually, I get a lot of the lotus blossom, like, right off the bat. I was wondering if that would even come through. That's actually really nice. I think that's why I like their pomegranate raspberry scent, because there's also that floral aspect that a lot of palm raspberry things don't have, and then they either end up, like, sickly sweet or sour, and they're just kind of off. But no, this, like, that extra layer in there, it pops it up to where it's like, oh, this is actually really lovely. I like this a lot, actually. It glides on super smoothly. Very silky. I'm trying to get to just absorb in all the way. We'll see how quickly it actually absorbs. Uh, if it's anything like the other two, it won't be instant, but it also won't be like crazy greasy either, so I mean... Not the worst on earth, but yeah, I feel like I get more of the lotus than either palm or raspberry. Like they're in there, but the one is more fragrant than the other two, but I like that. Personally, I prefer it that way. I actually also use the palm raspberry shave cream in the shower too, for the same reason. It just, it smells really, really good. I like that one a lot. So, it's actually absorbing a surprising amount already. Like, there's still a little, little bit of sticky and greasiness going on, but it's not as bad as a lot of contenders. So, 
still waiting to see how long it'll take in full. We're timing it. <laughs> we have the camera going. We can find out. It's for science. So, ha, hand fart. But anyway, uh, I'm mature. Ultimately, these are really nice, though. And I find they actually do do a really good job of hydrating. Now, if you need, like, intense hydration for things like your cuticles, I, I don't know that it'll necessarily help you there. But for general, like, everyday dry hands, it'll help you there. You can use it your arms or anywhere you feel like really. I wouldn't advise using it as a face cream because it feels a little occlusive for that. Like it would probably break you out if you have sensitive skin. But you do you. But for anywhere else, it's really, really nice. So still not a hundred percent. This may be the point where it kind of just taps out and hangs out like that for like the next 20 minutes or so. So I mean that's okay, but for the price point, I feel like these are actually a really good value, and they do a really good job. So, just because it's a pet beef of mine that it's not 100% all the way absorbed in, I will dock a point for that. But, everything else I really like about this stuff. So, for me, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. So, anyways, definitely try it if you haven't yet. Like I said, it's only like three fifty a tube at this point, so there's no reason not to try them out if you haven't tried them yet. So, anyways, those are my thoughts. Take them or leave them. There is also a fifth one, but I can't use it because it's the coconut one, so yeah. I unfortunately do have one of the little mini hand creams of the coconut. Um, well, it's not this exact one. I thought this was it, but um, I have the coconut one of this too, so I'll probably try it just once, see if I have a reaction. If I do, I'll give it to my mom. If I don't, then I guess there is a coconut thing I can use. So, given how I react to most coconut things from EOS, though, I'm not holding my breath. But this is not about that, but just pointing out that in the line of these, they do also make a coconut one. I just saw no point in wasting my money on that to use it literally one time and probably have to give it away. So... Then again, I could make the same argument about the other thing, but whatever, whatever. I don't know where I draw the line and where I don't. I, I don't know. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.